After months of build-up, everyone was expecting Apple's iOS 14. 5's much-hyped privacy feature to arrive with a bang. Quite rightly, privacy advocates believed iOS 14, 5's app tracking transparency, at, would shake up internet advertising for the better. But so far, Apple's new iPhone privacy feature has not worked as billed. Among the issues, many Apple users are complaining about a lack of ask to track prompts since upgrading to iOS 14.5. Some people haven't seen any at all, while others have seen heavily customized pop-ups, not the uniform iOS prompts seen in Apple's marketing, many of which do not ask specifically to track iPhone users. The reality is that app tracking transparency in iOS 14.5 is a mess, says Johnny Lin, a former Apple engineer and co-founder of tracker blocking app lockdown privacy. It's possible it could sort itself out in the long run, but right now, it's inconsistent, with low compliance rates, confusing since it doesn't work the same way as other permissions, and easy to get around. It's certainly disappointing for many iPhone users, who had expected transparency about which apps were tracking them once upgrading to iOS 14.5. Others just wanted to try out the new privacy feature when it launched. So, what's happening? Some people won't be receiving any ask to track notices because they have already disallowed collection of the identifier for advertisers, IDFA, in their settings. This will have carried over to iOS 14.5. The setting can be found in Settings, Privacy, Tracking. If you have already toggled it to off, apps have already been sent the message not to collect the IDFA and this carries over to iOS 14.5. You can turn on Allow apps to request to track, but if apps have already been given the instruction not to track, they won't ask again. In other words, you may need to wait for new apps to ask. However, according to 9 to 5 Mac some users are complaining that the toggled switch is grayed out to stop apps from requesting to track. There could be a reason for this. For example, those under 18 will find they are unable to turn on tracking, which is a good thing. It is also grayed out if your Apple ID is managed by an educational institution or uses a configuration profile that limits tracking, or if your Apple ID was created in the last three days. The other explanation is that the grayed out button is a bug in iOS 14.5 that needs fixing. Despite Apple's PR machine indicating at would emerge suddenly and dramatically upon updating to iOS 14.5, in reality, it will take time for app developers to adjust. Facebook said in a statement to CNET that app would be rolling out over the coming weeks. So other apps may also be slow to get their app alerts out, but rest assured, just because the app pop-up isn't appearing, it doesn't mean apps can track you in iOS 14.5. Apple has indicated that app makers who don't ask will not be given access to the IDFA.